Welcome to DAP. My name is Sam Patrikas. I'm going to take you on a little tour. Um, if you look here, we have a little bit of a layout. It's sort of this like figure eight shape. So we're going to come back around to the front and end the tour at the theater, which is perhaps how we're best known. If we go this way, here are the bathrooms. Ours are very unique, quite colorful, um, special places works of art unto themselves, both uh, gender neutral, two stalls in each, um, very accommodating. Uh, that's the one. The two is really cool. We've got our unique brand of wallpaper and, you know, all of the colors that come with that. And then immediately across the hall, we have the store, the DAP workshop. So we have half co-working space and half store. We have some used clothing for sale and some art, local apparel. It's a little bit uh, in shambles right now um, because we're not exactly open and keeping it sort of regular, but during normal times like pre and post COVID, this is uh, an incredible place to sort of discover new artists and, um, and do some art yourself. This is the main gallery here. And typically this is an exhibition space where all the walls will be filled with art. But um, in the COVID world right now, we're going through a little project um, dealing with all the speaker donations that we've got over the many years, as well as the uh, the fleshing out of the new Boston Compass newspaper boxes. So we have um, these abandoned boxes that we've taken over and we're gonna redistribute them out on the street so our newspaper will be available uh, on the streets of Boston. You can see the door number two here. So doors number one and two are studios and we have 14 studios here. So you can kind of take a little peek and see what Washington is up to. Music, DJs, recording, photography, embroidery, zine making, a lot of illustration and painting. So like even Studio 3, and this is kind of one of the special things about DAP is that instead of just having studios that are you know typically in the four or five hundred or six hundred dollar range, we deliberately find people to share studios so that it makes it more affordable for the artists and more of our space is being used at any given time. So can't show you everyone's studio because I don't want to open their locked studio, but um, we will take a peek in Studio 4, which is the Brain Arts office. This is a cool studio. I mean, this is like my studio essentially and all the volunteers and staff who work at DAP. So, what up? come on in. This is your office if you volunteer here. This is where you come and you can set your things down. And yeah, I don't know. You wanna pass it off? Yeah, you wanna take it over? Let's do it. This is Emma, so another one of the directors here. What's up y'all? I'm the Emma. HSR project. I'm technically the marketing director of Brain Arts, but I also run the art galleries here and I do all the social media, so I keep it busy. Come along. This is our freaky art wall. When we first moved in, we actually had an open house where we just let anyone in and whoever it was could uh, draw on the wall. And so we got this really weird art. This is our zine library. I don't know if y'all know about zines kind of a punk concept that anyone can publish something by just using a photocopier to distribute and produce. We love zines because it's a form of independent media and they empower people to create platforms and create their own opportunities, which is part of our mission. Zine making is a whole subculture that y'all should check out if you don't know about it. So this is all the wallpaper issues of our Compass newspaper that we make. There's some random art that I made once on my birthday. <laughs> yes, more freaky murals. We have an artist studio. Um, we have a leather worker. Andrea is a painter. So you can see, even with a little bit of space, people can make, make a lot of art. So this is like one example of that. And we have a bunch of wood. If anyone needs wood, please come take wood from us because we have way too much wood. More murals. Woo! Just got this jellyfish mural, pretty sick. Um, back here, this is a recording studio. Uh, Buddha Beast is an incredible producer. He works with a lot of local hip hop artists. This is Jenny, who is a photographer. This is our lounge. So this is where artists hang out. There's a fridge. Um, people can be in communal space with each other. People leave their pizza boxes. It's just like home. <laughs> no one does the dishes. It's beautiful. 
So yeah, and then if we pass through here, we come back into the theater. It looks a little different right now because of COVID. We usually have this cleared out and this is just where the audience stands, but clearly audiences are not happening right now. So this is our live stream studio. We have a sick DSLR, a mic room, and then we can sit here and get the performance, the whole performance uploaded to the internet and you can live stream. So tell your friends because it's really affordable. It's like $50 an hour to rent the whole space to do your own performance and it's, it's, we do it through Twitch so it's pretty dope. Yeah, definitely. Um, we would love to have you guys over to check out DAP one day in real life when it's safe out. But, but for now, we'll see you in the virtual realm. Peace.